We fed him. Now he can go. No, we said you could be friends. We didn't say you could date him. In fact, I'm not sure that we're going to let you date anyone ever again at this point. Sorry to interrupt. I think I should be going now. We can do a movie some other time. Or not. Hey, I'm very happy that you went to church. I am too. I think it's great. And you should come next Sunday when we're there. Yeah, or some other Sunday in the near or very, very distant future. It's fine. Dad. Well, thanks for the invitation. I, I like going to church. And look, I know you don't trust me and I don't blame you. But I just want to say that I was just trying to help Grace out because I like her. I like her a lot. And I like you too, Ricky. We all really like you. Thank you guys for lunch. You're welcome. See you at school, Grace. Bye, Ricky. Bye, Ricky. Bye, Ricky. Who do you think the father is? I don't know. Her boyfriend, I guess? If she is pregnant. Really, it's just, it's ridiculous. It's not Jack, is it? Please tell me it's not Jack. Are you not over that idiot yet? I don't know. I tell you he brought her to church with him yesterday? Amy Jurgens? No, no, with Adrian. Are you kidding me? First he gets oral from her and then takes her to church? Wow. A kiss. It was just a kiss. The whole school saw it. Oh, Grace, are you that naive? What, you think I'm naive just because I don't want to believe the worst in everybody? He told the guys in the locker room. The guys told people. People told me. There are no secrets in high school. Hey, slow down. When Jack and Adrian were kissing outside the dance in front of everyone, do you think they were doing something else? I mean, do you think they weren't just kissing? Do you think they were doing something else? Hey, what difference does it make? What difference does it make? Hey, calm down. Come on, walk with me. <laughs> he told me it was just a kiss. Hey, people are listening. He lied to me. People do that, Grace. People lie. They tell lies to make life more interesting when the truth would probably be more interesting than the lies. Yeah, well, I want to get the truth. Oh, I doubt it. You doubt it? What is the truth? Did she seduce him? Did he seduce her? Did they have sex? Did they not have sex? I want answers, and I want the truth this time. Everyone has their own versions of the truth, and you know, no one tells the truth all the time. Still, there's only one truth, and no matter what story you tell, there's truth, and then there's lies. And I want the truth. Well, that's what you wanted before, and you gotta lie. So why is this time gonna be any different? Your friend is a really bad girl. And your friend's a really bad guy. So what? People are what they are, and people are good and bad. Except for you, Grace. You're the exception. You're the only good person I know. If your parents would let me come over tonight, I'd love to hear your personal testimony. You would? Why? Because if it's your personal relationship with Jesus Christ that makes you such a good person, then, I don't know, maybe I need to make some changes in my life. Oh, Ricky. I need you, Grace. I need a friend. Make me worthy of being your friend. I would love to witness to you, and I will. But first, I have to go kick Jack's butt. What's she doing here? I was just looking at our new house. Hi, Ricky. We were just leaving. Is she kidding? About... Buying the house. I don't think so. Where are George and Ashley moving? Hey, guys. What are you doing here? I asked him to pick me up so Adrian could talk to you. Hey, Adrian. Hi, Jack. Ricky, did you know about this? About? Oh, Adrian's parents are buying Amy's dad's house. Oh, that's convenient. Convenient for what? Um, you seeing Adrian after you see Amy and John? This will give you two more time together, huh? Okay, well, this has been fun. <laughs> Good night.
say good night. Good night, Jack. You sure you don't want to change your mind? I don't want to change my mind. Okay, Grace. Good night, Jack. You okay with your mom not being there? I could come over and just stay downstairs in the living room, sleep on the couch. You know, it's a funny thing. My parents used to let Tom and I stay here by ourselves once in a while when they were gone. And we were fine, but it just feels different now with my dad being gone. Like, I always thought if something went wrong, he would just run home and save me. I'd save you. I'd run over and save you, Grace, if anything happened. It's okay. I can take care of myself. Good night, Jack. Me, Tom, let me in. I had a feeling you were cheating on me, and now I know. Whatever.